లేదా అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ కేఎస్ఆర్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ ఫర్ విమెన్ తిరుచంగూర్ వి ఆర్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద టాపిక్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ అండ్ కమెన్స్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ జిఎస్టీ లా ఎక్స్టర్నల్ అండ్ కమెన్స్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ జిఎస్టీ లా యాక్ట్ మే బీ కాల్డ్ ద సెంట్రల్ గుడ్స్ అండ్ సర్వీస్ ట్యాక్స్ యాక్ట్ టూ థౌసండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ఇట్ ఎక్స్టెండ్స్ టు ద హోల్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఇట్ షెల్ కమ్ ఇన్ టు ఫోర్స్ ఆన్ సచ్ అ డేట్ యాజ్ ద సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ మే బై నోటిఫికేషన్ ఇన్ ద అఫీషియల్ గెజెట్స్ అపాయింట్ provided that the different dates may be appointed for different provisions of this act and any reference in such in any such provision to the commencement of this act shall be constructed as a reference to the coming into force of that provision gst act gst stands for central goods and services tax it is subsumed all the taxes that were earlier applicable as central indirect taxes they are levied by the central government for intrastate movement of goods and services intrastate means within one state the central goods and service tax act 2017 states that cgs applies the whole of india except jammu and kashmir actually an intrastate movement both central goods and service tax and state gst are applicable gst revenues go to the central government and the sgst revenues goes to the respective state government for example a manufacturer makes a product in maharashtra and sells it within the state only sgst and G- cgst both will be applicable wherein sgst will go to maharashtra state government coffers and central goods and service tax will go the central government's kitty maharashtra has been topping the list of highest gst collections by the state for long followed by karnataka in almost all cases the total tax liability is divided into equal halves and distributed equally between state and central government these rates are decided by the gst council the gst council meets for a couple of items in a year as and when required however there is no regular fashion the last time the gst council met was september 2019 these rates are october 1 2019 three categories in gst if the main aim of gst is one nation one tax then why do we have three categories of gst the reason is that the india is a federal country we have too many layers and leaves of business the federal system in this context means that both state governments and central governments are allowed to levy and collect taxes in the old system we had varying indirect taxes that were levied on the state level and the uh, central government level now all the taxes are subsumed less than one igst numerically is always a combination of cgst igst in the case of igst it is the seller that deposit the tax igst rate with the central government after which the tax shared with the states igst for interstate movement 18 percentage cgst 9 percentage scst 9 percentage igst integrated goods and service tax is the one of the three components of goods and services tax igs tax is levied when there is an interstate transfer of goods and services cgst the three components central government cgst sgist igst sgist is short the state goods and service tax is one of the three main categories goods and service tax that is cgst igst sgst and carry is a concept of one tax one nation sgst falls under the state goods and service tax 2016 futures of sgst sgst is levied and collected by the states on all goods and services supplied for consideration each state has its separate sgst act under its state goods and service tax department however the this based the basic future of gst law for all the states like charges valuation taxable events measurable classification etc would remain the same across the respective act of each state input tax credit the tax on the purchase of goods and services which is reduced from the tax payable on outward supplies is known as input tax credit in the gst code in other words the tax deducted from the output tax payable on the supply of goods and services is known as the input tax credit which is itc full form in gst as well as eligible to claim input tax credit in gst tax invoice issued debit note bill of entry invoice organized concerning reverse range 
document issued through the input service distributed for distribution of input tax credit under GST. Thank you for watching.